สบายดี Welcome to Jai Lao World. My name is Joy s i m l e And today I will be introducing you to j e l h e t or a mushroom hot sauce or spicy sauce, if you will. We'll be starting off with these ingredients right here. First, you can use any type of mushroom that has a hearty or meaty flavor, um, but don't use any like an elephant ear or black fungus because uh, it's a, the texture is not right. Today, I'll be using button mushrooms and enoki mushrooms just to supplement to uh, give it a different texture. We're also going to be using some um, Thai bird chilies or Lao chilies, along with some jalapeno chilies or uh, serrano chilies here. And also at the end, I'll be cutting up some uh, herbs or uh, so, uh, cilantro. The next step we're going to do is cook the mushrooms down a little bit, and also roast the jalapeno peppers in the oven. What we're going to do is set the broiler to about 400 degrees, and we're going to cook both of these ingredients for about 20 minutes. And I prepared some earlier today, so if you look here at the colors, you're going to get a nice brown tinge on this, and they're fairly wilted here. So you got some some browning there, and then some nice roasted flavors in there, in the in the jalapenos. Now, after we roasted the jalapenos, our mushrooms, uh, the next step is to really prepare it and, and smash it or thumb it inside the the mortar and pestle first. And for the enoki, since they're a little bit fibrous, we're gonna cut them into smaller pieces. And the key is here is to um, do the mushrooms before the jalapenos, or else you're going to get very uneven uh, textures. So as you can see here, we're going to smash it real quick. You want every piece to be uh, smashed evenly because you don't want whole pieces in there as well. This should take about only between 30 seconds to a minute. And what we're going to do now is remove the mushrooms out. And secondly, we're going to add the jalapeno peppers, jalapeno and the Thai bird chilies. And one thing, if you want to control the spice level on this, uh, if you want a little bit less spicy, I recommend adding maybe three, three, uh, po uh, three mushrooms to one one part uh, chili. Mm -hmm. And if you want it spicier, I do one to one myself. I like a medium to high level of spice, so I go one to one. Make sure it's uh, evenly smashed because uh, you don't want big pieces and small pieces. And we're gonna set this aside as well. Now we're gonna add this back together, and then we're gonna add the last ingredients here. So the pepper goes in. And you see they're evenly smashed, and so the mushroom goes in as well. So what we want to do now is add a little bit of salt, so it'll coat evenly throughout the um, mushrooms. I would say that's about half a teaspoon for this much mushroom. So, and if you like, you can use MSG in your kitchen. Uh, I use a pinch here and there, but uh, I, I don't use a lot, so maybe like a pinch. And just smash those ingredients together. Make sure it's evenly smashed together. Now, as you can see, it's getting really evenly distributed between the mushrooms and the peppers. Now, the next step we're going to do here is add the fish sauce. Now, for this much jalapeno and uh, mushroom, I'm looking for a consist consistency of like a paste. With a slightly a little bit of moisture, what I find is that it the t 
texture is much better. Um, people tend to dry it out a little too much when they make this sauce. And the key is always to make the really good sauces to taste it. Don't ever serve anything unless you taste it. Right? Now you don't want to over smash this either. You just kind of want to push it around a little bit evenly so that all the fish sauce is distributed evenly, okay? Now I'm going to taste this to see where the salt level is. See, it needs a little bit more. So I'll add a little bit more here. All right, that should be good. Ooh, it's kind of spicy. I like it. And the final step here, what we're going to do is um, add the little bit of coriander or they call cilantro. Cut them in uh, pretty fine because you're making a dipping sauce and you don't want large leaves in your sauce. You want it to be very fine. Now this was just maybe like four or five sprigs, but I prepared some already earlier, so. Now make sure that your sauce is ready to go before you add this because uh, you don't want to really uh, over smash this. It oxidizes and also the flavor profile kind of changes if you uh, smash the, the, the fresh cilantro too much. All right. I like a lot in mine. Some people like a little less, but for me, I, I like a little bit more. All the different colors. Another thing I like to do is add a little bit more red peppers and green peppers and not just green peppers because the coloration comes out. It looks pretty. It looks more wonderful like that. Alright, that should be good. One last taste. That's very good. I like it. So the last part of it, we just basically have to plate this. Just make sure it tastes good, okay? Just remember that. Alright, so we're going to plate this. Right there. Come try this. Okay. And you have to be honest. Some ID. Let the viewers know how good it tastes. Oh, I need sticky rice. I need sticky rice. Gotta have it with sticky rice. That's right. Most of these sauces do accompany a, a meal and uh, usually eat with sticky rice. So, and only in the Lao culture you'll find that they'll eat sticky rice with just spelt. All the foods, it's a staple. So, mm. how is it now? Sell. All right. Sell, lie, lie. So, I passed the Sell. test. I just want to thank everybody for tuning in to Jai Lao World and uh, thank you for subscribing. And mm. hopefully, I can contribute some more mm. dishes to you later in the future, okay? Thank you. Mm. Bye bye. Mm. So, bye, D. Welcome to Jai Lao World. My name is Joy. What was that? Okay. Sabai <laughs> D, my name is Joy Simili, and uh, welcome to Jai Lao World. Today I'll be introducing you to a uh, dish called. Um, <laughs> <laughs>